Tea, baby. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm doing good, but how y'all doing? I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Okay. I just had an insane leg day and I'm showing you um, some of what I eat in a day because I told you I would start doing these videos. Um, so this morning before my leg day, I've been getting up earlier and I had a huge pancake protein breakfast. I'll insert a picture here because I did forget to film because I got up earlier and I was just in a hurry. I wanted to get to the gym earlier because it's been getting a little bit more crowded. So now, post-workout. I'm gonna show you guys what I have. So before the gym, like I said, I had pancakes, and in the picture you can see I have fruit with um, a nut butter from Abby's Nut Butter. And then um, after the gym, I always like to have a protein shake or a bar or something with a lot of protein. So today I'm using the KOS Organic Plant Protein. It has 20 grams of protein, um, and it tastes freaking amazing so two scoops actually is one serving for the gains um i'm really picky with my protein because if it doesn't taste good i cannot drink it um and then sometimes i like to add in um some of this it's maca blast it has maca chaga and vanilla really good for your brain and body gut health energy um so I like to get protein, my gut health. Then I like to add some culinary matcha for another little kick of um, energy after the gym because your girl killed her legs. Then I add some water. I do like half water, half milk. And then we put in some ice and then sometimes I also add like frozen banana but I had a lot of banana this morning so I'm gonna pause in the banana and I add some coconut milk and some baby spinach so I'm getting so much in here just in my post workout that it's gonna hold me over for a little bit until uh, lunchtime all right you guys so now that we've blended our concoction I swear, that is the best tasting shake ever. I'm gonna have energy and protein and be fulfilled until lunch because I'm gonna go shower, get ready, do some work. Mm, delicious. So, I have my shake for the gains. And then I also eat some blueberries and raspberries. Um, I like to get my fruits in right after the gym in the morning time before and after, or sometimes I'll have an apple or tangerine, whatever. So I'm gonna drink the rest of my shake, go do some things, and I'll be back for next will be lunch. Then we'll probably have a snack, we'll probably hit round two today, and then dinner, and then usually I have another snack. Ooh, it's gonna be a long day. But anyways, I'll see y'all soon. All right, you guys, welcome back. I've done some work, I've showered, my hair is drying, Put something comfy on gonna make some lunch and then get back to work so when I'm making lunch I'm literally in a hurry because it's midday so I'm just trying to get in what I can it's a quick healthy meal while I'm at home then I have a bazillion things to do so I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna eat okay so this is similar to my last video I made because it's super simple and it's like things that you pull out of your fridge when you haven't gone grocery shopping yet um so all I'm doing is making a rice bowl with tofu. Um, I cut up the high protein tofu, super firm one. This has 14 grams of protein. And I may add something else on top, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then my red bell peppers, which are great vitamins, great vitamin C, eat your bell peppers, and onion. So I'm literally making a one pan stop shop here. So I'm putting everything in the pan and then fresh 
ginger, you guys. Fresh ginger is so good for you and your stomach. And then all I'm gonna do is make some jasmine rice. I'm sure you guys know how to make rice. You literally boil water. When it boils, you add in your drained and rinsed rice and you cover that baby and then in about 15 minutes, she's ready. So for here, on our veggies and our tofu. Like I said, I need to go grocery shopping today. Have barely a little bit left of everything. So I'm gonna add some aminos, and then I like to put some turmeric on my veggies and tofu as well, because it's great for um, inflammation in the body. So it helps with your, overall it's amazing for your skin, your health, but inflammation, it's great for that. And then some chili, because I love a little spice kick and then I always add black pepper and actually the black pepper activates the turmeric so whenever I do turmeric I always like to add black pepper and then some B12 nutritional yeast on my tofu and my veggies and a little bit of garlic you guys like I keep minimum seasonings that are like my main go-to's and they literally taste amazing on everything that I don't need a whole gigantic plethora. Sometimes I will add olive oil to this as well, but I have enough good fats because I'm gonna add avocado and maybe some egg on top. There's something I haven't told you guys yet, but now you might have got the hint. Um, okay, then you can always try it. Does need anything? No, she's fire. Okay. So now all I'm gonna do is put her in the oven, make my rice, and I'm gonna make a bowl with spinach and avocado. Alrighty, so everything is pretty much done. I decided I'm going to add from a cage-free organic range, free range, all of the good stuff, egg white with my spinach to put on top. So I'm heating my skillet. I had to add like two handfuls of spinach because it shrivels down to nothing. Then I put a little bit of aminos. I'm gonna crack my egg. Some black pepper, some nooch. Some garlic. All right, now it's time to assemble. So I have my half avocado on the plate. Our beautifully roasted tofu. And I love doing the tofu like this because it comes out like crispy chicken, I kid you not. Mm. You gotta be patient and give it time in the oven, but it tastes like chicken nuggets. I am not, I'm not kidding with you guys. Okay, then we're gonna start with like half a pepper. And then I'm gonna put my spinach and my egg. Your girl does not skip the game. And then add a half a cup of rice. Okay, and a little bit of aminos, some hot sauce because hot sauce is live. I put a little bit more of this on top, but I already added a lot. You guys, look at this. Her, she's beautiful. Um. Yeah, look at that full plate of gains. So this is just an amazing idea for meal prep, for um, if you're in a hurry, if you work from home, you can have the rice going, you can have that in the oven, you take it all out and you eat it, it's so good. And I tried the tofu for you guys with some spinach. Mm. Avocado, go in the booty. 
the rice is too hot but this is a high protein could be low carb depending how much rice you put your vitamins your veggies everything so i'll see you guys soon for my snack and then my dinner all right you guys so now it's about midday evening afternoon for me and I finished some work and some errands and I'm gonna hit round two which is gonna be some cardio I'm trying to split my training and my cardio now when I do cardio so I don't spend as much time at the gym since I'm already lifting for almost two hours um, so I'm gonna have a snack and I want to show you I always go I always show you guys my built bars that I never actually showed you the box the mixed box so the flavor today let's see peanut butter double chocolate what do we want um orange coconut almond mint brownie salted caramel i think i'm gonna do double chocolate because it's about to be that time of month you know what i'm saying so um this is gonna be double inside and out Mm. Mm. It never all the flavors always taste so freaking good. I have all these options and like always I always leave my discount code Terron20 in the description at the first line for you guys. So if you want to save some money, honey, and get your protein bars. Um good before workout, after workout or snack, a good way to get in some more gains, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm back. I got the endorphins flowing because I had two different mini workouts after my leg day today. You're gonna see it's a mess here because I'm gonna show you something. Okay, so like I said, don't mind. I look like a mess because um, I'm gonna get ready for dinner soon, but earlier I did my round two. So I did some cardio because I'm on my cut now, so I'm trimming down a little bit. So I'm splitting my workouts and my cardio. And then I filmed, if you watched my last video, um, a core workout today also that is killer. You don't want to miss it. So then part of my errands um, before I have dinner, I went to the store. And I was just going to show you before I put it away what I get, like some of the things I get. I get potatoes, rust. Restet, rosette, I can never say that. White potatoes, the ones you can make french fries with. I get those potatoes, I get gluten-free brown rice, pasta, I get uh, organic brown rice. Earlier I had jasmine rice. Always keep some <clears throat> lemons. Now, I'll make a separate video about this, but let me just tell you I'm trying albacore white wild tuna. And if you know me, maybe that's a hint for you. Um, and then I get asparagus and kale, celery, cucumber, all different kinds of pepper colors, onion, um, cucumber, zucchini, apples, and I already have blueberries and raspberries in there. Got another thing of liquid aminos. I have tofu in there. Um, I have beans. So I, I keep it pretty lean and clean. Um, when I'm about to do a little bit of like a mini shred because I want to get a little bit leaner for summer I guess you could say but still keep that down trunk. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to bore you for dinner because honestly, I'm just gonna make some brown rice Throw in a can of albacore wild tuna and with this I squeeze lemon um, Liquid aminos Fertocake seasoning which is like a seaweed seasoning um, some sriracha and garlic and then I'll probably cut up some cucumber and literally that's what I'm having So maybe I'll insert a picture here, but it's nothing special to even really show you how to make it. It's very simple um, These you can add in anything or you can also do, do it with chickpeas um, and I might have some celery with it and then for Later always even when i am cutting i always have a sweet tooth so i always have different kinds of vegan chocolates and this one is a vegan organic milk chocolate made with coconut sugar so i always have like one or two squares of these and i've already had like two after lunch because after i eat something salty i always have a sweet tooth anyway so yeah that's all for the rest of the day i'm gonna um 
go shower up and then probably make my dinner and have this later and that's it. So if you like these videos and you want more of what I eat in a day because it is pretty similar some days, but some days it's very different. So if you want more, you guys, please let me know. If you have any questions, drop them below. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you all soon.